Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you had a great weekend. Right, so last week we discussed how the market, you know, probably has more selling to the downside, right? We had weakness, we had the bounce, we failed. And now the market kind of has to decide, right, is it going to take a bullish sequence or is it going to take a more bear sequence, right? Personally, just kind of looking at this chart, I also know what my voice is a little coarse right now. So hopefully that's not going to be too much of an issue, right? Basically, you can see that there's five waves down here. And therefore, this is either an ABC chart structure, right? A, your B and your C wave down. Or it is also, right, a bigger, right? If you're bullish, right, ideally, like, you would, right? You can see here this blue trend line that I have here. You would ideally like this area to prove to be a long-term support if you're super bullish and doing end of either year rally. Like, I think whether I'm bullish or bearish, right, I do think that we will break the previous low of 4279. And when we do, right, I I do think that the center move, right? Again, ideally, right, we need to stay below 4347 for this to be true, right? I think this is a one, two, come up for a three, a four, a five. And then we will bounce, right? Whether just like whether I'm bullish or bearish, we probably break the low. Whether I'm bullish or bearish, right? We will bounce off this area, right? Because it's got a lot of significance. We could, right? You can see here when I zoom out that you can see that if I go to, let's say the daily chart, right? You can see that I just fibbed, you know, the bottom of this to the top of this trend line, right? And you can see that basically, right? You can see that we've broken below, right? This 4347, the level, right? You can see here, we do have a significant, well, let me give you the exact number, hold on. Yeah, we do have a significant FIB support of 4335, right? So far, the market is kind of rejecting this level. So you would kind of trade your bullish or bearish bias based on this flip level, right? If we can recover 4335, right, today, then yeah, I will reevaluate and post certain bullish scenarios because as long as we stay below, I do think, like I said, whether I'm bullish or bearish, I do think we break the low. And we will, right, get supported between 4,200, 4,180, and probably an overshoot to 4,163 if it wants to follow FIBS. And that this area is where I would expect a bounce, right? And like I said, if you're bullish into urine, right, you, this is the area that you would need to support to push for your urine rally. Because if this bounce, right, if this bounce right here gets rejected, then off this right if we get rejected off this fib level then we're you know in for a lot more hellish downside pain right then bulls would like to admit as a result of which right kind of watch out for this key areas also sorry i'm not doing a great job today feeling a little under the weather but yeah with that being said let's kind of look at the dollar and other indicators that we've been you know, discussing, and you can see here, this was the level of resistance, right? We discussed last week. You can see that we broke out, we tested, and now again, the dollar is trying to kind of break out, right? So again, I do have, if this is my one, two, then my wave three, right? Potentially, you can see here, if this entire thing is my one, two. Yeah, that's correct. Only. My entire thing is one, two, then, you know, wave three probably, you know, pushes up to like, I don't know, 107.7 ish, right? Come down for a wave four before it finishes, you know, kind of that ABC in uh, one, two, three, four, five, right? Again, bigger picture, we know it was sideways. We broke out. And again, for us to be bullish on the market, the dollar would need to break back below this key, you know, resistance turn support, right? We break below this, then we can get started. If the baller, you know, if this is the new support for the dollar, then bulls are in a shitload of trouble. That's all I can say, right? And the 10 year as well, right? Even the structure didn't look great. It perfectly stayed within the channel. And now, you know, we do know that every time it hits the top of the channel, right? It tends to mean revert. And generally that's what you can kind of expect at this level, right? I would say within the first two days, bulls should try to get the yields lower because if they don't, and if this is a channel breakout, then we're heading straight to, you know, 5% and that is gonna be, pretty, pretty bad for equity bulls. So there's a lot of factors at play here, right? And we look at the wicks as well, right? On the daily chart, again, we know, again, this is my 
another reason why I think we still have a little more downside left, whether I'm bullish or bearish, as you can see here, the Wix is yet to complete its fifth wave as well to the upside rate. I think the Wix could push up at least to about 21.5, right? At the minimum, 20, 21, 21.5. So again, another reason why I think, you know, the market could have a little more downside left before an actual bounce. Whereas most people are trying to predict the bottom. And I think that's kind of ill willed. So with that being said, let's just look at this week's watch list. First one I have is Meta. And it's pretty obvious, right? Kind of has not sold off compared to the other FANG stocks. It worked last week. Got our target. We bounced off the FIB level. And now again, right? I still do think whether I'm bullish or bearish, right? Like... It has been resisting the sell-off, right? But for some reason, I don't know. I'm just not, I still think that we could, right, push down to this 270 level before, you know, Meta can have a significant bounce. I mean, I could be wrong, right? I told you if it can close over 308, which it hasn't done, right, then I'll reevaluate this chart. Otherwise, I still see more downside on Meta. The next one on the six watch is actually DHR. Oh my God, I'm so sorry, guys. The news just popped off for this. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> okay. I had this on the six watch list, but I did not see this news. I thought we were kind of just hovering over that area. So, I mean, you could, right? This could still work as a trade, right? You can see that this right here is the bottom trend line of the channel. I mean, be careful. I just realized the sad news. So it does have a bottom trend line here, right? And obviously we know that it has kind of a five wave system, right? The market tends to have five waves. So I'll put it this way. You could try an oversold bounce off this play, right? At like 208, right? You could try for like a wave four, obviously it would just be like a $10, $15 bounce for a wave four before it goes down further. So yeah, you could, this would be a possible area to play calls, but yeah, be careful. I just realized I've had news. So yeah, may not be a great play for this week. Let's look at DKNG, right? DKNG again, to be very honest, like stocks that shown strength tend to sell off the hardest when they do sell off. And I think DKNG could be one such candidate. Like I'm pretty surprised at the strength to be very honest, but I don't, this is the first time I'm trying to make a trade on it, right, in a few weeks. So I do believe that I would say a good confirmation level would be 27, but I still think, think that below 29.5, right, at minimum, we come down to 27, a break of 27, and it does have an unfilled gap to 21. But yeah, bigger picture, I think it's done. I think it's going down, but yeah, would like more confirmation to be seen. And last but not the least, right, the stock that we're looking at is win. And again, the reason for this is I did see uncanny strength in casinos. I'm not super confident about it. It would again kind of be a trend line play, right? I mean, because I told you I still see weakness in the market, right? Before a bounce. So I mean, I don't I'm not super confident on any of these call plays, right? So I'll put it this way. If we can break over the high of the state rate if we can break over 94 then i think that the market you know wind could push up to 101 otherwise right this probably sells right and we make a new bigger picture we know that it rejected right at the long-term weekly trend line so it is bigger picture kind of bearish till we break out but yeah you could try for a short term play right trend line channel surfing but not super high confidence so yeah i hope you have a great day thank you so much